Hi, this is Laurel back on Ask Laurel. Do you need a separate LLC for each rental property? It depends on your money rules is how this uh, question goes. So, uh, and it depends on what state you're in. So typically, and again, I'm not financial advisor. I'm not giving you any legal advice. I'm just saying what I see most people do, what I have done, what a lot of real estate folks do is you have some rules. So a lot of times the rules might be and pretty standard rules in the real estate space is up to about a million dollars, you know, could be in one entity. If it's a, uh, uh, mixed use properties with different owners and you want that in a different entity. But one by one by one, if you've got like fifty to sixty thousand dollars, say rental property homes and they're in one area, you might put three or four of them together. So it's sort of a liability proposition, it's uh, an ownership proposition, and those are the questions you want to ask on how you put this together. All of it typically then is held in trust. So if it's in different states, again, talk to uh, your lawyer, talk to your accountant is the person that I go to for those questions and how they want to file tax structures. Uh, different states have different requirements, but really it's a money rule and a risk rule and a litigation rule for you. Like how much liability do you want in one entity and what coverage do you want? So again, talk to a super professional, but there's some guidelines.